welcome everyone to the, uh, the final day of the meeting. Um, thank you all for, for being here today. Um, I thought I would just start off with a few br very brief remarks and I'll try to make sure that we run on time today. Um, but I wanted to begin by thanking the organizers of the meeting, Francois and Misha, uh, for organizing this wonderful meeting. I've, I've really enjoyed myself and learned a lot. Um, also, Elizabeth, I know, was my uh, point person for logistics, and so I'd like to appreciate uh, Elizabeth for making this meeting run very, very smoothly. Um, and then finally, the fellow members of, of the scientific committee. Um, uh, I, I'm sure there were other people involved, but, the, but these were the main folks that I, I interacted with, and so I appreciate um, the wonderful meeting you've been able to put on this week and for the opportunity to be here. Um, today we have a very uh, interesting program uh, lined up. Uh, this morning we'll, you'll, we'll hear from a couple of speakers who will talk about sort of synthetic biology approaches to what I would say almost redesigning a little portions of central dogma. Um, and in the afternoon, uh, we'll be hearing from a couple of additional speakers on using synthetic biology approaches to refactor ba bacterial or yeast genomes. Um, and so I think it's, it's uh, going to be quite an interesting day. And so I thought what I would do to sort of seed the discussion both in the morning and the afternoon is just raise some topics for discussion uh, now so that you can be thinking about them during the lectures and we can discuss potentially after, um, after each, uh, during the discussion sections. Um, these questions are questions that have been raised throughout the meeting, but uh, I think are particularly pertinent to, to today's um, lectures. And so um, I'm happy to discuss these or, or other topics that may be of interest. <laughs> uh, one question that's come up during the meeting is the topic of measurement characterization of biological systems. Um, what, and so one question I wanted to raise for, for discussion is, you know, what does it mean to fully characterize a biological system, a biological part, a module, um, or an or entire organism? How do you know when you're done characterizing it? Is there such a thing as being done? Is that even possible? Um, and um, I think you'll see today that, you know, very significant advances have been made when it comes to genome engineering and re redesign and resynthesis of entire genomes, particularly in the afternoon session. Um, and so can we make some of the, some of the uh, significant strides we've made in what I would call build technologies, you know, do we have opportunities to do the same thing on the test or analytical front? <laughs> um, and then finally, touching on some of the themes that were brought up earlier um, in the conference, if an organism is a product of both its genome and its environment, then what does it mean for how we characterize uh, organisms? Uh, does, uh, you know, um, how do we think about you know, the full characterization when there's so many environmental factors that are affecting its performance. So just some, some thoughts that, have been, uh, that I've been thinking about during the course of the meeting. The, the second topic, uh, which I, I thought has been interesting, um, and, and that is uh, perhaps a, a, a point of discussion, is how do we think about design of systems that persist in the face of evolution? This was a topic raised yesterday. Um, you know, my, my question, can it even be done? You know, so much of biology is variable across organisms that it seems like nature itself has not been able to really design systems that persist, right? You know, only a small part of genomes are, are really a, a, a very uh, distinctly conserved. On the other hand, biology is so interrelated, so maybe you could argue that maybe our definition of persistence in the face of evolution um, needs to be thought about. Um, second of all, why should we care about design in the face of evolution? You know, isn't it sufficient for our systems to only last as long as we need them to and then, and then go away? And is, is that perfectly fine? And so we don't need to think about design on evolutionary timescales because we're not interested in having our systems work on evolutionary timescales. Um, and then finally, and I, I, I hesitated to bring this up, but because given uh, that we are at IHES, I, I wanted to ask a question that, that I'm, I'm rel rather naive about, um, and so I, I don't know if this is even an important question to be asking. Um, but you know, there was a, a, a comment raised, um, uh, I, I believe yesterday or the day before, about whether mathematics can actually adequately describe biological systems and their properties. You know, it, it was something that I've never really thought about. Is there some mathematics uh, tool or, or framework that we're missing when it comes to description of biological systems? Or is that the wrong question because really we should simply be relying on computational simulations uh, to model the behavior of biological systems? Um, again, I'm not sure if this is the right question to be asking, but hopefully we can discuss it uh, uh, later. And you can correct me if, uh, if, uh, if uh, that's the wrong question to be asking. <laughs> And then finally, um, 
from a synthetic biology perspective, you know, one of the, some of the questions that, I, uh, that I've asked in the past is, can we design biological systems that are either more amenable to, say, mathematical, uh, mathematical description or more amenable to simulation? <laughs> So just some thoughts that have uh, arisen to me or, or have been raised by others in the audience during the meeting that I think are particularly pertinent to today's, today's lectures. And so uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'd like to introduce our first speaker, um, Christian Young, who will be talking about uh, <coughs> synthetic biology approaches to translational control. Um, and thank you very much. <laughs>